What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As you see by the title of today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I personally read Bible. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so how I normally read the Bible, first I'll tell you what times. So normally I read the Bible in the morning and at night. That is what I attempt to do every day. Sometimes I miss it, sometimes I only read it once a day, sometimes I read it multiple times because I'm doing Bible studies with my friends, stuff like that, or I just am hungry for the word and I read it but that is my goal is to read it morning and night why do I do that I do that because I strongly feel that starting and ending your day with God is the way to live a happy blessed and fulfilled life constantly filled with peace filled with joy no matter what the circumstance is so I highly recommend that and when I read the Bible I always pray before I read it why do I do that I pray before I read it so I can get the most out of it because I'll be the first one to admit that there are times where I want to read the Bible, I want to spend time with God, but just something isn't going right. I'm frustrated, I don't want to do it, I feel like I'm not getting anything out of it, I feel like I'm not learning anything new, and that really frustrates me, right? Because when I read the Bible, I want to spend time with God. That's why I pray before I read the Bible, so that I'm like, Lord. I take the time. I look outside. I have a beautiful view. I read the Bible in front of my window in my backyard. And I'm like, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that I get something out of this Bible time. I pray in Jesus' name that I'm focused, that your spirit speaks to me, and that I receive revelation from your word. And that I learn something new, and that we are able to decipher and understand and get into this together. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray that prayer you know, variations of it, and I read the Bible. And I get something out of it every single time I pray that prayer. Why? Because I desire getting to know the Lord more. I desire to receive something from the word of God. And just by telling God that I wanna receive something, he does that for me, he gives that to me. So that's why I pray. Always pray before you read the Bible, guys, because you can read it without spending time with God. If you're not reading the Bible with the spirit of the Lord, it doesn't hit as well as it should. What does that mean? Reading with the Spirit of God issues in revelation. Instead of you trying to figure out what something means by your own knowledge, understanding, and strength, which the Bible warns against, when you read the Bible with the Spirit, you get so much more out of it. That's what makes it so special, so fun, and so alive, is because you're getting something out of it when you read it with the Spirit, because the Spirit is always speaking. It always has something new to say. Why do you think God in scripture says, sing me a new song, sing a new New song unto the Lord. I am the God of a new thing. I am doing a new thing. Watch as it springs forth. God loves the new. God loves the more. God always has something to blow your mind with. He has a new mystery to reveal to you, a new secret to be told. God is the God of the new and the more. He's still speaking and he wants to share his secrets with you. That's what it says in Isaiah. He wants to share his secrets with you. It's just if we're willing to hear them. So that's why I do that. I think it's so much fun. It's so much fun receiving revelation from the word and something Thing that's really helped me in my Bible reading is the journal Bible. So here's a clip of me reading Matthew 19 and I am just going in on writing in the margins because the journal Bible offers you a note page in the back of the book and also on the sides of the scriptures where you can just write down all your thoughts and what I personally write in the margins is I write my thoughts, I write my questions, I write my revelation, sometimes I even write prayers of me talking to the Lord and just telling him about how I'm feeling in that moment. I'm writing things about the scripture. I am correlating other scriptures with what I'm reading currently. I underline. Usually I highlight, but I kind of tend to theme my Bibles. Like for example, I have one Bible that's a sticky note Bible, one Bible that's a different highlighter color Bible. This one is just pencil Bible. I didn't really want to highlight anything. I don't know why. This is kind of what I like doing because I like going through my Bibles in depth, but also making them distinct in every way and getting something new out of them each time. I would highly recommend a journal bible if you guys also like taking notes also like writing in the margins it's just so much more effective and efficient and easy to put all your thoughts in the same place that you receive your thoughts from so that's why i would highly recommend that what helps me and i think is really healthy as a believer is designating time to read the bible on your own and also designating time to read your bible with people because god has given us the spirit of god the holy ghost and he's also given us one mind and one spirit and also 
also because we are part of one body that means that we all function differently and that means we can all think differently we have different revelations we can help each other iron sharpening iron we can get more out of one scripture when there's multiple minds dissecting your reading it and letting the spirit flow through both of you or however many of you i highly encourage designating time to read scripture with another person or a group of people i think that's awesome i think it's so necessary to not neglect the brethren and to discuss the word of god together because where two or more are gathered there he is with you so these are some tips that the lord has revealed to me and that i've experienced to be very beneficial while reading scripture if you guys want me to do a bible tour of how i designate certain annotating skills to certain bibles or you want me to do a certain tour of a specific bible because i have a women's bible i have a graph bible i have a journal i have two journal bibles i have almost all of the translations almost all using loosely i have just like the big five or the big six i have so many different types of bibles so if you want i can go more in depth of how i've used each one because this is currently in the fifth bible that i'm on i have three more left to go through so just let me know what you guys want to see in future videos i'm always willing to take recommendations and suggestions i pray that you enjoy this video if there's any more tips and tricks you want me to tell you about my personal journey reading the bible because let me tell you guys it has not always been easy and i have been consistent but there are moments when the lord has actually sat me down and be like okay you're forcing yourself to do this this is becoming religious for you i want it not to be religious i want it to be a relationship let's spend time doing something else together the lord himself knows how to spend time with you you don't have to force yourself to read the bible if there's something hindering you you bring it to god there's so many ways to spend time with him guys and sometimes when people read the bible they're not even spending time with him sometimes they're doing it as a religious duty because someone told you to because someone told you that you're supposed to or that it's good or that you're not a real christian if you don't read the bible i will never tell you not to read the bible because it is crucial for your walk with god so that you know his voice but what i will say is that there are a plethora of ways to spend time with the father one of them being worship one of them being prayer one of them being with other believers of course reading your bible 100 percent but what all i'm trying to say is that unless Unless you're doing all of these things with the Spirit of God and doing it to glorify God and with love and joy in your heart, be mindful of how you're spending your time and what you consider spending time with God because the goal is always to get closer with Him. I say that to encourage you guys. I am with you. I know it's not always easy. I know it's difficult to stay consistent, but also guys, more often than not, it's better for you to do something you don't want to do and get something out of it than regret not doing it in the long run because you could have been somewhere that you wanted to be a long time ago so i'm praying for you guys i pray this video blessed you guys i pray that you are excited to get in your word maybe we could do a live bible study together i don't know that's an idea the lord just gave me we if you guys want i can go on live with you guys and we can all bible study together we could read different books we could read the same books discuss it together and yeah so let me know god bless you guys here for you guys praying for you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video god bless you guys and peace